about to witness one of the fastest sports in the world with a ball traveling at speeds close to 200 miles per hour. Sacrifice. Fearless. Passion. You have to be a little crazy. moving up to 200 miles an hour. I'm trying to push it to three. My name is Bobby Horn, or David Horn, some might know me as. Oh my goodness. The Reaching Dream Foundation has helped, helped me out a lot in the last, I mean, for as long as I can remember, really. Oh, too good. This sport has taken me to a place that I never thought I would be before.
their voice good morning how are you good morning team bear thank you very much we're very glad to be here at the 2019 valentine open starting the first match of the round of 16 this morning dean yeah um a Had a really impressive oh. Thomas Carter makes fourth uh, uh, against Rocky Carson. Rocky is four and zero oh in his last. Uh, Rocky took uh, out all his fellow round of that's not easy. Carter, 2019, 2000. Rocky 20, 15, um, also last year, players are ready point for the Rocky Box. Get ready to start our first round of center court balance. Uh, the other match on today, uh, belt red set. Up. Um, part of the clear. Um, Those are our 10 a.m. Uh, round of six match. We'll go over this 11 o'clock. Always check us out online, irtour.com. Look, you can check out our art website. Link. Get the whole draw right there. But here we are right now in Laurel, Maryland, getting ready to start game one here at the Valentine. Special thanks to all the players. And a money Valentine formula for club oral. Much more support. Side out here for Thomas Clark. Only win, but match. Well, first off, he has to watch out for all those Rocky Carson services. Now, Thomas Carter on the board first, 1 0. Yes, I, I, I think from my vantage point it was, but referee disagrees, calls it good. Point for Thomas Carter, who's now up 1 0. Well, Dean, going back to what you asked, I think Thomas has to look out for those Rocky Carson signature pass moves because that's the killer for all Rocky Carson's opponents. That's the first thing, and he has to watch his surface. Another point there by Thomas Carter. Yeah, um, again, Rock uh, had a uh, light play, not last not an excuse for professional racquetball players. I think what uh, what helped uh, Rock, like Tom, Rock playing a left, Rock players, Rock, uh, best player in the world, and a left, uh, and not Thomas Carter, but um, got his depth to serve. The track a lot, and what I think about Thomas Carter likes to pick a lot. So I don't know if that's that's about Rocky recognizing early, uh, but Carter does go bottom board. Uh, the five service right, uh, up there. Rocky's all over it. Is a big setup at the dotted line for Carson. Hits the side wall. Carter erect on it. Down the line again. Yeah. That's what a lot of players don't do against left. Don't pass forehand. Try to see general pass there. You pass. Well, listen, if there's anybody with experience against left handed players as a righty, it's Rocky Carson, obviously. So he has all the experience in the world. I think it's not going to be a problem for him. Great reach there and back wall by Rocky Carson. So, I mean, Thomas Carter has a. Flat rollout right there by. So Thomas Carter does his have his work cut out for him, but you know he has that youth factor, his speed factor, and I really enjoy watching him play because he has a really unique style, and that's always very entertaining for us. But you know Thomas, uh, he's from uh, he plays at the Lombard Illinois club, yeah, yes. Chicago, it's 
Daniel has uh, debuted on the Black Tour uh, at old. Black at age. Started old with a record start since 40 years old. Thomas started to serve. Thomas driving Rocket to the left. Oh. Referee calls it short. Second opportunity for Kyrie. Lob served to the left. Rocky goes back, takes his time. Little rally there, exchange. Rocky from the back. Thomas pass it. And Rocky shoots it to the right. Rocky again. From the back, gets a set up to Carter. Wow, what a great shot there from Thomas Carter. From the left side. Another point there for Thomas Carter. Timeout, Rocky Carson. So what do you think, Dean? This is a th is this a really premeditated timeout? Do you think what what do you think? What are your thoughts? Out on the court. Yeah, uh, you know, a net rough type thing, just a reset. Uh something in Thomas Carter that Out of shot, throw them off. Well, and you know one of the things I gotta admit, I, uh, remember that earlier this year we had a pro, a pro stop, we had a Grand Slam in Bolivia, and both Thomas Carter and uh, Rocky Carson went to that event. So you know Thomas Carter has been around. He's not been the tour that long, but he's been around. He's been traveling a lot of the tour, and um, he's getting some experience. So this helps to a, play a young player like Thomas Carter a lot. You know, not being nervous playing against Rocky Carson. That's awesome. Yeah, I I don't I don't see. Um you know, Thomas intimidated at all. Thomas works with uh, Coach Jim Winterton. Rocky, obviously, with Coach Fran Davis. Fran Davis, racquetball.com. Uh, Thomas runs a lot of camps over in um, Illinois. Uh, you know, he does a lot of work with, uh, like I said, with uh, Winterton Racquetball. So, you know, he's, he's seasoned. And he's Back wall there, Thomas Carter. Rocky Carson. Thomas on the back. Rocky shoots that ball down the line. Fortunately, skip shot there by Rocky Carson. Point. Thomas Carter to the left. What you're going to see there is, you know, uh, obviously Th Thomas's drive serve not only to the right, but when he when he serves it to the right, he hits the crack a lot. Uh, you know, so. You're going to see some, Thomas is going to go for it. He's got nothing to lose. That ball was past him down the line. I'm not sure about that call right there. I don't know what the referee's calling. Yep. I, I agree. The referee agrees with Dean Bear. So <laughs> Thomas says no can do. Well, listen, he's got a huge advantage over Rocky now. That's the reason why he uh, took that time out. But, you know, still Rocky Carson's back right here in the driver's seat. Let's see what he does. That was, that was just a really good down-the-line shot. Great drive serve. Right there, second serve. Carson, second serve. Lap Z. Oh, not a shot. Thomas Carter wants Ooh. that shot back. Rocky Carson on the board. Yeah, well, I got. I gotta say, you know what, Thomas Carter, really anticipating some of these shots right there. Not, not maybe the best selection, but he. He is getting a racket on it, so he's keeping the ball alive, but you can't afford to do that to Rocky Carson all the time. This is a number two player on tour. Not a good serve from Carson right there. A little left that a little bit up. Off the back wall, Thomas Carson, pa Thomas Carter, punches it to the right side corner for a winner. A little strange object right there. That was yeah, that's on our front camera. Um, the, the the housing unit that was put on for the camera. So Thomas Carter back to the serve. He's gonna drive serve Rocky Carson. Eight Thomas serving Carter. one Look for the ace right there. Referee says no can do. That's an ace oh, serve. He said an ace serve. 
So on the Headpen scoreboard, Headpen is not only the scoreboard sponsor of the IRT, they're not just the official ball sponsor of the IRT, the WOR, USAR, and the LPRT. Headpen is the industry leader in all things racquetball. Check them out online today, www.head.com slash racquetball. So Thomas Carter is up nine serving one in the first game of this round of 16 matches. So any, uh, any guys in our chat box here uh, want to let you know that the IRT supports ro wearrollout.com, the official apparel sponsor. If you buy something online this weekend, get a 10% off with the IRT code IRT Maryland. The first person who emails me their receipt, they made a purchase from rollout this weekend. I have an autographed head hat. Signed by Rocky Carson. So the first person who buys from whererollout.com today will get the autographed hat shipped by me personally. Little updates coming in. Lala Portilla, 5-1 over Sam Murray. Andre Perea is down 3-10 against Acuna. And Beltran is up on Jake Bredenbeck, 10-6. The update on these other matches. Rocky Carson to the service box again. Yeah, I don't know if I like to serve for Thomas Carter, but adds a nice little pinch right there. Not a good return by Thomas Carter, and Carson gets his second point of the game. Well, Rocky Carson trying to go to Thomas's backhand, but in a, in a scene that I don't think is a particularly strong serve, but it did serve him well. Thomas, Rocky, again, keeping it alive. Thomas gets the setup from Rocky Carson. Thomas going for it. What a lunge right there by Carson. Wow. Oh, and a nice rollout right there. Speaking of rollout, where rollout.com, the official apparel sponsor of the IRT. Rollout offers a complete line of IRT and other lifestyle racquetball clothing. This week only. Save 10% offer code IRT Maryland at checkout. Custom racquetball shirts for tournaments, teams, and clients across the country. Retail or custom, where rollout.com is the go-to source for racquetball clothing worldwide. Shop wearrollout.com today and support the official apparel sponsor, the IRT. Thomas Carter, 10 serving two. Carter going again for Rocky's backhand. Screen serve right there. Rocky Carson not agreeing very much with the referee. The Rocky's got a good point. If you're going to call it, you got to call it fast. That is true. Carter with the second serve. Carter up by eight points. I want to say good morning to Coach Fran Davis, who's watching Fran Davis Racquetball. Check her out online today. Camps all over the country. What a nice shot right there by Thomas Carter. A very unorthodox player, Thomas Carter. And Rocky really needs to adjust a little more quickly here. Uh, down, uh, uh, you know, 2 11. Carter in the service box, 11 serving two on that head pen scoreboard. Thomas Carter again, back to the service box. Thomas, driving Rocky to Rocky's forehand. Wow, Rocky puts that one away. Smack that right <laughs> downtown. <laughs> wow. Great cross court pass. Yeah, but again, the serve was not effective. Came off the back wall, easy setup for number two player in the world, Rocky Carson. Great return of serve. Not sure if that was a, you know, if Rocky wanted that ball to be where it was. But uh, Thomas Carter back in the service box at 11 serving. Two. Listen, this is the one thing that I think, Dean, is good for young players like Thomas Carter. They have really nothing to lose and everything to win. They're motivated. They feel they can do some really funky shots like Carter has been doing very unorthodox like today. So it's benefiting him up until this point. Wow, see that again. Easy serve, return, kill. Good shot by Thomas Carter. See now. Again, he is up another, another by another point. The head pen scoreboard up 12, serving two in his first game. Thomas Carter again. Well, they hit the crack. Two bounce get right there. Side out, Rocky Carson. Yeah, you know, Thomas is, like when we said unorthodox, I mean, he holds the racket a little funny as a lefty, uh, but it's effective for him. You know, we, we talk about mechanics a lot of times. Uh, you know, well, players would talk about mechanics. It's something that, you know, to each his own. Everyone has to, you know, do what they feel most comfortable with. Rocky Carson, this high C lob there. Oh, skip shot there by Carson, unfortunately. Nice side out. 
12 serving two on the head pen scoreboard. Thomas Carter, side serve. Set up off the back wall, behind the back pass. Not a good shot right there. But a nice little put away. Car Rocky Carson has to change something up. He needs to be a little more aggressive and he needs to shoot the ball. He just gave Thomas a very easy setup. There's no pressure on Thomas right now. He's up 13 2. Exactly. But listen, Rocky's a champ. He's defending champion of the Atlanta Open right now. He's motivated and really awesome. I think Rocky is doesn't give up until the last point. He won't give up. Oh, absolutely. The match this game is far from over. The match is extremely far from over. Carson. High C there. Thomas. Second serve. Carson again. Wanna Second opportunity. Remind everybody in the chat box, please like and share our feed. Oh, skip shot there by Rocky another Carson. Another one going around, turning around, shooting from the back wall and skipped it in. Too many skips there from Carson. Now Thomas Carter is only two points away for closing in this is first game. Carter, trying to change it up there. Well, he's gonna go. You know, he's gonna go for it. Oh, right here. definitely. I, I don't expect him to do anything less. He's only two points away from winning this first game. Rocky. Oh, Let's Rocky went right to his forehand. Good shot right there, and a good pickup from Thomas Carter. Set up off the back wall for Carson. Punches that down the line. Carter's right there. What? Carson can't catch up to it. Point. Carter. 14 first game point opportunity for Thomas Carter. Wow, what an awesome formula here. I'm sure a lot of the players are going to be watching uh, game film from this uh, first game. Uh, Dean, what do you think? Um, well, again, um, Thomas skipped that one in. Looked at the referee. Yeah. He was hoping to get that call. Uh, you know, like I said, Ro Rocky's plane got uh, switched up. His flight got canceled yesterday. He got in a little bit late. But you know what? He's got to rise to the occasion now. Oh, nice Side little out. push into the front wall. Second game point opportunity. So Lala Portillo is up on Sam Murray, 8-1 in game one. Acuna took care of Andre Perea at 15-4 in game one. And Alvaro Beltran uh, won game one, 15-8. Nice little rollout by wow. Carson right there. The IRT would like to give a special thanks to Gearbox. One of our inside industry partners. Check out all the latest and innovative equipment from Gearbox. Gearbox supports not only the sport of racquetball, but many athletes as well. Check them out online today, www.gearboxsports.com. Carson on the board again, scoring that really nice rollout on the right side. That was a nice little. That uh, was that's really. What he, we could say, yeah, that's what he needs to do. Skip shot there Thomas by Thomas pressing Carter. Pressing it up a little bit right here. So two game point opportunities held off by Rocky Carson against Thomas Carter. I'll tell you something. Thomas Carter usually is uh, uh, extremely sweaty, and I don't think he's sweating that much. I don't yeah, know if his points came easily today. Yeah, he's, he's been known to change shirts every now and then during the matches. Yeah, we need, we need, the, we need the towel timeouts. <laughs> we need the towel timeouts. They're no, coming in game two, I guarantee it. Players are hitting around the ball. I'm not sure what happened there. Carson to the serve. Trying to hold off Carter. Wow. Carter can't catch up to that one. I like the, the off speed slice. There's a towel timeout sponsored by Service Master Restored. Take a fast commercial break. We'll be right back here. IRT Live. <laughs>
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was a quick TV timeout. Thomas Carter back in the service box for his third game point opportunity. Rocky Carson gave that little slap serve again, and, Car and Thomas Carter just pushed it to the front wall for a nice easy kill. Back in the box, third game point opportunity. High lob to Rocky. Forehand, overhand, right down the line. Carter flat rolls that one. Game one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. We will take a short break right here on IRT Live. Fran Davis. Fran Davis. Fran Davis. Fran Davis. The number one racquetball instructor in the game. The greatest racquetball instructor and clinician our sport has ever known. One of the best coaches I have ever worked with. She knows what's best for my game. Love working with her, mainly because she worked on my serve, on my drill selection, in every part of the game. So I think she's the best in the world. If you want to take your game to the next level, work with the best. Fran Davis. Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, again, uh, IRT would like to sponsors. One of the supporters of the IRT is Miss Fran Davis. Like com. Also, the IRT would like to give a uh, special thanks to the Reaching Your Dreams Foundation. RYDF supports young athletes from around the world with needed resources to both on and off the court to develop successful careers in sport and life. Give to RYDF.org. So, Fabio, good shot. Good game right there for Thomas Carter. Took him three tries to, to finish that match, but what? He's up one game to zero. I got to admit, Thomas Carter is on fire. He's got to take advantage of that momentum, well, hopefully. You know, you know, Rocky said it when he took his timeout when it was, what, 8-0 or 8-1? 8-1, yeah. 8-1. Yeah. He's like, you know, the guy hasn't missed a shot. So, you know, here's the deal. Can Thomas Carter continue to shoot that well? And can he execute? Um, we shall see, right? Well, listen, I, I want to forecast right here a big changing game because during the timeout, obviously, Rocky Carson talked to head coach Fran Davis. I'm sure he's going to make some adjustments. I'm, 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 I'm pretty ready, Dean, to say and call that we're going to see a tiebreaker here. Is that a guarantee? I'm pretty sure that we will. But Thomas looks fired up. He looks ready. He's got the serve. And we're ready to go. Yeah, interesting enough, he, sh he serves this. Uh, but you're right. You know, um, looking at, you know, the demeanor from Thomas Carter, it's pretty good. You know, he looks like he's in there and ready to go. Thomas Carter, the serve. Short serve. Going for Rocky's backhand. Couldn't shoot well. Nice crowd here in Laurel, Maryland. Valentine open. Tracy Valentine. Skipped in. That's a skip serve. Good shot. Yes, I agree with the referee. Oh, it's pretty flat. Rocky Carson. Rocky looking to drive serve. Thomas Carter. Rocky Carson. To the right. Carter. Doing that ball. Skip shot there uh, by Carter. Cross court pass. 
Uh, Carter's moving in. Rocky's passing out. Now Rocky gets on the board first. He's up 1-0 in the headpin scoreboard. Carson again. Drive serving. Short serve. Not a good time for a rollout on the serve. Carson, second serve. I, I don't know if I'm a, I'm a fan of that against the lefty. I, I, I don't know why he just doesn't wallpaper like the Beltran. Oh, and it's going to come off the back wall. Puts that up. Again, you know, I, I think what you're going to see in the game plan for game two here is Rocky Carson's going to give Thomas those shots to shoot. And, and what he does is it's going to be putting pressure on Thomas Carter to make them again. Can Thomas Carter rise to the occasion, make those shots? That will send him into the quarterfinals. Um, if not, we're going to a break. Well, listen, I, I think you're right about what you're saying. And, and not only that, it's just that that pressure that Thomas Carter will get, hopefully it won't get to him because if it does, then he'll just break and just submit to Rocky's uh, shots. But right there, Thomas Carter with an excellent rally. Now Carter on the board now, tying this matchup one apiece in the head pen scoreboard. Thomas to the service box again. Drive to Rocky. No. Screen serve. Thomas again, second opportunity. Doing a lob there to Rocky's forehand. Gives him give it to Carter set up. Rocky. Oh. Ah! Carter. You know, not taking that shot as he should. He's just waiting on it. Skips it, unfortunately. Rocky Carson back to serve. Carter. From the back, gives Carson a setup. Carson puts it away on the right. Wow, two, one now. Rocky Carson up in the head pen scoreboard. Carson looking to drive Sir Carter again. Great serve, ace called by the referee, Rocky Carson. Three serving one in the head pen scoreboard. We're seeing a change of pace here. Carson again, drive serving. Rocky. Another great serve there. Carter skipping another shot. Four serving one now in the head pen scoreboard. Rocky Carson. Back to the service box. Up now. See, we're seeing a little change of pace here again, Dean. Now it's 4 1. Yeah, well, Rocky. Again, better serves from Carson, warming up maybe. It's around the world from Carson, set up here. Beautiful cross-court pass right there by Rocky Carson. The crowd is building up here, Yeah, Dean. it's getting crowded here in uh, Laurel, Maryland. Carson serves. Nice drive right there. A little more heat coming from the racket of Rocky Carson. That radical 160. And you know what, I, I, looking at Rocky hit that ball from the left side, I love it how it curves, you know? Rocky has that tremendous power and agility. Yeah, well there was a, that Z serve came off a little short, Carter back in the box. Thomas's box again. Driver's seat, Carson. Back wall there for Carter. Rocky with a setup. Wow, what a great cross-court shot there by Rocky Carson to that side out. nice. Carter couldn't get a racket on that. Carson commanding 5-1 lead here. Early in game two. Carson to the box. Good serve. Thank you. Know, nice to see that come behind him a little bit. You know, it's Thomas Carter's forehand. Thomas is leaning, you know, over to the right because he knows that serve is coming. That high Z. Good round the world right there. Set up forehand. Carson's on it. Thomas Carter, another set up off the back wall. Puts that right down the line. DTL back in the box. Now Carter again back on the board. Two serving five now. The head fence scoreboard. 
The tournament directors, Tracy and Imani Valentine, and Formula Flow would like to give their thanks, not only the professional core, the amateurs that participated, but all their local sponsors. And we're gonna uh, give you a couple list of those right now. Sport Fit, Total Fitness and Racket Club, D&J Towing and Recovery, that's John Flahart and Debbie Dubs. Pro Racquetball Stats, Mr. Todd Boss sponsors this event here. BJ's Restaurant and Brew House, great dinner with them last night. And uh, they're giving all the pros 10% off this entire weekend. So we have to personally thank them too. Carson buries that into the corner. Grind and Conquer Fitness, Maximus Oak. Koi? I can't know how to say that. Vicky Hopkins, Wayne Toyne, Karen and Mike Riz, Maddie Melendez, Eric Robinson, David Austin, Ryan Wilson. Dottie's trophies as well. Good cross court. Nice down the line, Rocky Carson. Point. Wow. Punto. Carson. Well, listen, that die by Thomas Card was very well executed, but unfortunately he stayed on the right side, and Rocky just shooting the ball on that side was fantastic. Towel timeout on the court. Here's a replay right here down the line. Look at that one. Boom, right down the line. There's towel timeout sponsored by Service Masters Restore. Tracy Monty Valentine also want to thank the Spiro family. Keebs.com, the, Mer the Maryland Rack Pack. Pack. Zurich, Zurich Construction, Slimo, and Charity Warnigan, Warrigan. So Tracy and Imani Valentine, thanks all of you for your support. And we thank you as well. Carson serving 6-1. And see Rocky changing the pace now with this match. It's pretty much going the other way as it did in the one before. Yeah, they kind of flopped, right? It kind of did. And I'm sure Coach Fran Davis is listening to us here on the, on the IRT is making adjustments to the game as we speak. Rocky. Set up there for Thomas, Come back Thomas, Rocky killing that ball. Wow, great cross court right there. He caught Thomas going the other way. You know, that's how Rocky scored most of his points here. Thomas is going uh, left and Rocky's hitting right. So um, chess match going on right here. Carson uh, figuring out his opponent after a loss in game one. And I'm expecting him to, to send this into a breaker instantly because his drive serves are on timeout on the court. Thomas Carter will take his timeout as Rocky Carson leads eight to one. Let's just stay here, Fabio. Very, so very wise timeout, I think. And it's again the other way around. Rocky was down eight zero when he asked for a timeout. Now Carter is down one to eight. So I think this was very wise of him to do so. It takes a breather. Yeah. Uh, well, the same thing happened in game one, as you said. Uh, except everything's going in Rocky Carson's favor now. Uh, and Thomas looks like, um, you know, like I said before, he's going right. Rocky's shooting left. Uh, same thing. Rocky's serving extremely well. Thomas's return of serve isn't executing like he was in game one. So there's the difference. Yeah, I'm sure that, you know, Thomas is making some adjustments right now. He's taking some time out to breathe. He's just walking a little bit over there. And Rocky, look at him. He's already in the court, already focused. Just wants to take care of business and get this over with. Yeah, well, again, we're trying to get some updates on these court, these other courts today. So I want to remind people uh, watching this, the winner of this match will take on the winner between Alvaro Beltran and Jake Bredenbrecht, who are currently playing on another court. Yeah. So we got quarterfinals today, Dean, starting at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Yes, our quarterfinals matchups today will be uh, 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and 7 p.m. That's our quarterfinals matchups. Tomorrow's lineup. This is a singles only event here in Laurel, Maryland. Our final, our semifinals are tomorrow at 11 a.m. and noon, followed by a Saturday night singles finals here at the club, 7 p.m. for the champion here. The last event before next up on the calendar, the United States Open. Minneapolis. Who's gonna be there? Will you, Fabio? Will you all be there? All the IRT production team. I'm going to give you some updates on the scores on the other courts. Lalo Portillo is uh, over Sam Murray, 10-4. I think that's still in game number one. Um, game two, Andre's 8-5 uh, uh, over Acuna. Good showing by Acuna. And uh, Jake and Alvaro are knotted up at five in game two after Alvaro's game one. Pick up there by Carson. 
around the world, but unfortunately it went out into the other court. Here it is, the ball is back. I want to thank uh, our uh, staff member, JP Edwards, for bringing us all the information going on on the other courts. You'll be, we look forward to hearing from him in the quarterfinals later on today. Courtside reporting right here in Maryland. Thomas Carter trying to push that ball. Set up from Carson. Nice little pinch. That was a, that rally should have been ended a lot earlier than it did. A lot earlier. See, those, listen, I, we saw that in Atlanta a couple weeks ago. All these players, young players, wanting to push and touch the ball. They got to remember, they're playing against really great players in the world. I mean, you can't afford to do that against Rocky Carson. Rocky got the side out and a point right there. Easy point right there. Nine serving one. Speaking of great players, I played yesterday here against the number four player in the world, Mr. Alex Landa. And in game one, I was extremely winded. <laughs> well, the pace that these professional athletes have is just uncanny. I shouldn't say I, shouldn't say I played. Uh, I was on the court with Alex Landa. Well, let's, let's preference Let's that. just say that he played with you. Carter, wow, <laughs> a little overhead left-handed. So one serving nine in the headpan scoreboard. Thomas has his work out for himself right now. Drives on Rocky, to Rocky's forehand, backhand. Gets a set up, Carter shooting the ball. Wow, excellent down the line rollout. Two serving nine on the headpan scoreboard. Ed Penn is not only the scoreboard sponsor of the IRT, they're not just the official ball of the IRT. Ed Penn is the industry leader in all things racquetball. Check them out online today, www.head.com slash racquetball. High lob to Rocky's forehand. Down the line, Carter's there, right down the line again, cross court. Good pick up there by Carter. Rocky overhand. Carter resets and goes up top. Rocky shooting bottom board, coming up all splinters right there. Thomas Carter, punto. Three serving nine. What well, you think of that rally? Well, I gotta admit, you know, Thomas had a very well placed shot right there. He took advantage of it. And Rocky just, you know, again, if anybody can do overhead shots, it's Rocky Carson, one of the best outdoor players in history. But right now, we're indoor. Green serve. Second serve coming up from Thomas Carter. He's probably going to go to the Rockies' forehand again. Lob Nick right there. Not a bad serve. Look at that shot right wow. there. Wow. What a ceiling ball by Rocky Carson. See, guys at home can't underestimate a good ceiling ball no matter what level of play you're at. I mean, Thomas Carter, he couldn't even get a racket. That ceiling ball was so good. It was not only... It was a Flat rollout right there by Thomas Carter. But that was wallpaper, but it was it didn't come off the back wall. Now oh, Thomas Carter, the service box in the driver's seat. Thomas. Screen serve. Short serve. A little screen and short. A little bit of both. Second opportunity for Carter. I was going for Rocky. Nick serve right there to the right. Carter. Set up from the back. Oh, Thomas going bottom board again. Comes up short. Rocky Carson back in the box. So nine serving three. I want to say hello to everybody in the chat box. Please like our feed. Share our post. Remember, I have a special autograph head hat signed by Rocky Carson for the first person who buys merchandise, IRT merchandise, on wearrollout.com. 10% off today using promotion code IRT Maryland. Send me an email. Great shot by Rocky Carson if Thomas Carter agrees as he gives him a little pat. Uh, but the first person who emails me, Dean at IRT-tour.com, proof of purchase, I will personally mail you this beautiful autographed Rocky Carson hat. Special this weekend only. First person who sends me that email. Carson. Maybe I'll send two or three of those. Oh, oh, what a nice little trick shot by the Thomas Carter. That's a go for broke right there. Listen, that, that three <laughs> that three wall shot by Carter that landed. 
Nobody could get to it, not even with a motorcycle. Carter, shooting. Wow, great shot there by Carson. What a great return of serve. Even though that ball was very close to Carter, hit the crack, got it down. I'm rocking the service box. He's leading this second game. 10 serving three right now in the head fence scoreboard. Carson, drive serving. To the right. Gonna give Rocky a setup. Rocky, going around the world here with Thomas. Rocky from the back. Wow. Killed the ball. Gonna give it to Rocky. The referee says he couldn't see it. It sounded good. He's gonna keep it good. So it's 11 serving three right now on the head pin scoreboard. Rocky Carson, four points away from winning this game number two. Rocky Carson in the service box. See, we're seeing a completely different game two right now from game one, Dean. I, I mean, again, Rocky's serving a lot better in this game. Um, maybe he's a little more, uh, not maybe, but he's a little more focused. But you know what? he's got a lot of those Z serves where, where he's, you know, they're, they're just not deep enough. We're and not. that was one right there. Yeah, that was a good exchange between these two gentlemen, but it was too close. And Thomas Carter was up on his feet, so he got the best of it. Now Thomas again to the box. He's trailing, three serving 11, the head pen scoreboard. Rocky, gives the setup to Carter. Rocky again from the back, and Rocky Thomas that ball wants away. that one back. A little update here, uh, Andre Perea up 9-7, game two. He's down one game to zero. Um, Lalo Portier ended up winning. Sam Murray 15-14, that's a good win for Lalo. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there's a sleeper not only for this tournament, but the U.S. Open, as we have our U.S. Open preview show. One of my sleeper picks is Lalo Portillo to really make an impact on the game of the sport of racquetball right here. And Alvaro Beltran sends Jake Bredenbeck home 15-8-15-10. So Alvaro Beltran, the first to move to the quarterfinals here in Laurel, Maryland. And just so everybody knows, Laurel Alvaro Beltran will face the winner of this match going on right now, later today, in the quarterfinals. Overhand by Rocky Carson. Oh, there's a nice little rollout right there by a Rocky Carson. So Carson back in the service box. Got head referee Maurice Miller from Atlanta. Great serve there by Carson. Yeah, you know, Thomas Carter wanted a screen. Three serving 11. 3 11. It's a group. Thomas Carter trying to hold off Rocky Carson. Let's see if he can find that pace that he had in game number one. Carter, set up from the back. Carter can't put it away. Touching the ball again. He is not supposed to touch that one. Referee's asking. Let's see what the call is. Hashtag just, just a, a replay. replay. Exactly. He was in the way. You know, I don't know if I agree necessarily with the referee. He did held up. But Carter going to the service box again. Yeah, Thomas Carter, not, you know, he didn't. He wanted the avoidable, but I like, you know, and, and this is what we see a little bit of different refereeisms, if you want to even, if that's even a word, um, than in our quarterfinals, you know, on our round of 16s, we have different referees, um, you know, so, you know, a player automatically holding up is not going to get that call, that official, you know, call that head referee Scott McClellan may call. Rocky, the Thomas is backhand and Thomas puts it away. See, that return of serve was very solid by Carter. And, you know, he has to keep that up. He has to keep that pace. I think if he keeps it, he is going to be in this match. But right now, Carter still trailing 3-11 to 11 in the head pen scoreboard. Yeah, so getting back to, like, those avoidables, Fabio, you know, I, I'm not a fan of the, of the player, you know, you want to hold up for safety, but there's a lot of times where players have the shot and they choose to, 
you know, wait for the avoidable call. And, you know, that play right there from Thomas Carter, that shows you take the shot. Take the shot. Rocky Carson back in the service box. 12 serving three on the head pen scoreboard. Changing it up. The serve going to be short. Carter off the back wall. Punches into the left corner. Wow. Rocky Carson, 13 serving three. I mean, not a good fan of that score. I mean, of that uh, that serve. Although it worked out in Rocky's favor, I but, thought it was a little bit. But listen, Rocky you know. put it away very well executed, giving Thomas no chance. Now Thomas, see, gets being a setup. Thomas trying to go the other way, and a skip shot by Thomas well, Carter. He took the shot, which is I like. Maybe he'll get a replay. Uh, he's probably telling the referee, "Listen, I took the shot because last time I didn't. You didn't. You know, I didn't get the call I wanted." Did he call a point? I don't know. Well, I don't see him raising his hand either. Thirteen serving three. So Rocky Carson, two points away from closing in on the second game and sending it to a tiebreaker, that I'm sure you're going to want it to go 11, 12, 11, 10, right? Yeah, maybe eleven nine. Wow. Oh, Rocky almost caught up to that one. Good shot there by Thomas what Carter. A, what a good put away by Thomas Carter. Putting that ball as far as he can from Rocky Carson. Keeping it held up. The serve. Set up off the back wall. Big setup for Carson. Carson buries that one. So Carson just back in the service box. So, I mean, what, what Thomas Carter wants to do here is he just wants to score a few more points just to get that momentum and that roll going into game three because it's pretty evident we will have a game three. Carson, good serve down the line, but a better return of serve from Thomas Carter. Yeah, and, that, and that's what Thomas is looking for here. He's just looking for some momentum uh, to carry him into, uh, into a breaker. Uh, again, saying that, you know, Thomas Carter can't come back from 13-3. Is, you, you, it definitely can happen, but not with a great passing shot right there by Rocky Carson. See, Rocky keeping it basic, keeping it simple, and that's, that's the way to go. Right now, Rocky Carson needs to s step on the gas and keep Thomas Carter at three. Listen, he's just two points away from sending us to the tiebreaker. I think that's what he needs to do to finish it off right here so he can get that momentum going in and he can get the serve. Oh, that little push thing right here. We were talking about those little push plays right there by the young players in the Pro Tour. Not effective right there. It costed him another point. But now Rocky, one point away from winning game number two. 14 serving three. Game point. Well, good pick up there by Carson. Set up for Carter. Diving play off the back wall. Carson gets that one. Another setup. And another shot off the back wall, but this is also going to be a setup for Thomas Carter. Carson can't catch up to that one. Game point not happening. Thomas Carter back in the box. The crowd here early morning Friday in Laurel, Maryland. They like that rally. That was some pretty good get there by Rocky Carson. Listen, and Carter putting rackets on it as both as Rocky Carson as well. And, you know, trying to hold up Rocky as much as he can right now. So it's three serving 14 in the headpan scoreboard. Short serve. Thomas Carter, second serve. Going to go for Rocky's backhand. With a lob, Thomas. That Those shots that he was getting the first game, they're not coming oh, out. Oh, what a wow. shot right there. Wow. So four serving 14 now in the head pen scoreboard. So this game basically going the other way around. Yeah, like I said again, Thomas is just looking for some a, li a little momentum. Can he get, you know, score 11 points before Rocky gets one? Uh, he can, highly unlikely. Rocky thinks that was a short serve. No appeals here in our round of 16s, but Carter's going to have a tough one right here. And here's a setup for Carson. Between the legs off the back wall, there's Rocky Carson. A little sloppy play right here, but Carson is going to turn around and take a forehand. Ooh, Ooh that Carson missed Carson. that one right there. That, was, that got sloppy towards the end. So, uh, 
if this match goes into a tiebreaker, we're going to have Alvaro Beltran join us in the booth here. Uh, maybe you two can uh, sprechen Sie Deutsch a little bit. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a pickup right there. Wow. Rocky just right on that ball. Down the line. Or Rocky switching See, it up. See, that's what Rocky kept going to Thomas's backhand when the whole left side of the court is wide open. Even though it's the lefty's forehand, it's the right shot. It's open. Has to take that shot. It is, but now Thomas Carter scoring another point and getting on the board here again. Six serving 14. And now, if this game goes to tiebreaker, now Thomas is going to have the advantage of the serve rate. Oh, very good. Thomas. Lalo Portillo and Sam Murray knotted up at two in game two. Back wall there, Carter with a setup. Carson giving Carter another setup, but Carter goes for the seating shot. Now Carson, he has a setup. Wow. Buries that into the corner. Perea, 15 7 over Acuna in game two. They're going to a breaker. And like we said before, Alvaro Beltran is already in the quarterfinals here in Laurel, Maryland. At the Valentine Open, Sport Fit, Total Fitness Club. Carson in the box trying to win this game number. Oh. Skipped in a serve. What a skip serve there by Rocky Carson. I would like to say it's unusual, but I've seen him do it a few times. Yeah, you know who skips a lot of serves? Uh, um, Rodrigo Montoya. Yes, he does. I mean, one one match, I, I don't know, we didn't have our statistician there, but I, he must have skipped four or five serves in one game. Uh, Rocky Carson, what a great, great cross pass. pass right there. Okay, so, so seeing what happened here in game two, Rocky Carson is definitely passing the right side, you know, Thomas's backhand. But like I said before, a lot of times this left side is open and he's got to take advantage of it. Is around the world to Thomas's forehand. Goes bottom board. Game one. Game two is in the books. <laughs> Tiebreaker coming up right here in Laurel, Maryland on IRT Live. Kind of a way of life. I mean, I, it, it's my passion. It's I, I love it. I played it since I was little. For me, racquetball is all about people and competing and just trying to better yourself and being able to see some awesome places around the country as well as the people that live there. The Reach Your Dream Foundation has helped me and so many of the other pros like just increasing our rankings and playing by just helping us, you know, with like places to stay and, and giving us means that maybe wouldn't be able to actually make it to a tournament. Um, they give us that opportunity to go and just, you know, kind of test our mettle and, and see how we do at these stops. Uh, Reach Room Foundation is just asking, you know, like if, if anyone can help us out in any way, like we appreciate it. Like anything, anything helps. And uh, Reach Room Foundation is doing their best to give us all that opportunity to do it. So we as players and as, as a foundation just really appreciate what people can do to help, help us all keep doing what we're doing. to witness one of the fastest sports in the world with a ball traveling at speeds close to 200 miles per hour. Sacrifice. Fearless. Passion. You have to be a little crazy. The ball's moving up to 200 miles an hour. I'm trying to push it to three.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Tiebreaker coming up. Like we said, Thomas Carter will serve in game number uh, three here. We have joining us in the booth is the winner of the uh, Jake Bredenbeck, Alvaro Beltran. Alvaro, welcome to the booth. How are you? Uh, thank you, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, I'm happy. Uh, I just <laughs> beat a, a, a great player, um, Jake Bredenberg, and uh, we had fun. Uh, it's very, uh, very, uh, how do you say it? Uh, uh, nice to play a guy that is uh, very uh, polite in the court and, and, and a gentleman. So. Yeah, you, back in the day, that's not how it was. <laughs> yeah, I mean. In the no, 80s. I mean, well, in the 80s. I never played in the 80s. <laughs> 90s? 90s? The 90s, are you, are you 90s was trash talk. There, there, yeah, there was a few guys. that From but, New York. Uh, yeah, from New York. But, uh, <laughs> no, it was uh, uh, pretty similar. Uh, Jake is, is a great guy. Yeah. Um, you know, and his game has really elevated over the past probably year. Uh, you know, him going to Pan Am's. Um, speaking of Pan Am's, um, yeah. you went through the glass. Uh, yeah. How was that? What was your thought when it happened? Uh, oh man, it was crazy. Honest. I didn't. I mean, I, I didn't believe it was happening. Like uh, I, while the all the glasses were dropping in my uh -huh. legs, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that that was going on in the second game of uh, uh, playing for you the. You kind of scooted away. I don't know where you were going. If you wanted to well, run through the yeah, grass. I, no, I, I just wanted to move from. I didn't. I didn't know how much glass was go, uh, dropping. Like I didn't know if it was the door or it was the the the. One of the side uh, uh, glass uh, walls. So I, I didn't know uh, at the moment. I didn't know what, what was, what was, uh, what did I break? So I wanted to move. Once I, I knew it was only the door, then <laughs> I stayed there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a um, what a play right there. I think that was an avoidable call uh, against uh, Thomas Carter. Yeah. I mean, Rocky was kind of out of position going to the ball. Uh, I would have maybe just had a replay there. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't see the, the, the play. What's so. your thought about, you know, some players holding up wanting the avoidable opposed to taking the shot? Right. Well, hashtag just a replay. See, that's not a replay. I right. mean, he's going that. He's I mean, going right, ball went left. I, I, I mean, I, I like playing close, but sometimes the, the other guy is in your shot. I mean, I'll play it however the the ref uh, allows you uh, to. allows you me <laughs> to play like if he's taking uh he if he's giving a lot of uh, uh avoidables i'll play into what the ref uh gives me you know okay if, if not i'll just play through like depends on the ref to me it depends on the ref how he uh manages the game and that's how uh, i i play the game I, I don't get frustrated i just play uh whatever the ref uh gives me you know Diving, two diving nice gets right Thomas. there by Thomas Carter. Towel timeout sponsored by Service Master Restore. Uh, um, little updates right here. So tiebreaker, Andre Perea is up 4-2. And uh, Lalo Portilla is up. He won the first game, but he's down in the second game 7-4. Uh, two great matches. Yeah, you know, I, I said before, Lalo Portillo is, he, he, in my opinion, he's the sleeper. Not only for this event, most importantly for the U.S. Open, I, 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 I'm just I'm worried that the 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 event may take over him. Right. You know, like he may not be ready for it. But I think his game yeah, and his yeah. abilities, they 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 play well at an event like that. No, he has uh, definitely every shot in the book. Um, I think he he's young, but he has the experience of playing for forever now. Like. I know since he was like three or four years, four years old. So yeah, I don't think he the, showed. He 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 had a picture of you on our Facebook when he was little. Yeah, and then we we took a new one in Bolivia, so that was kind of interesting. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, so I don't think the that that is gonna get to him. He uh, he's an experienced guy. Nice pass by Rocky, right? There. Yeah. It, well, he seems to be passing Thomas's right side a lot, and and I don't see him passing the left. And yeah. and as a righty, when you're playing a lefty, does do you, is that in your head? Is it not in your head? You know, because I don't want to hit it. It's his forehand. He's a lefty. But you do it to a righty when right, the shot's right. there. Exactly. I mean, I think, uh, like like you said, uh, you do. It's in your mind when you're playing a lefty. But when you have an open shot, you got to take it. Yeah. I, I, I think uh, if you force a shot, trying to go to just because you want to go to his backhand, I mean, uh, it doesn't work like that. And we can see, like, right now, uh, Rocky's struggling, so. Thomas skipped in another one. Two serving, zero on the head. Penn scoreboard here. Early 
in this tiebreaker. So do you think it's going to be an 11-10 breaker? I think it's going to be a lot closer than the first two games for sure. Um, uh, Thomas is a little um, tense right now. I think uh, he played very loose and up in the first one, and he won, and then you start feeling the pressure of like, oh, I'm close uh, to beating Rocky. So I think he's feeling a little bit of the pressure, but he'll loosen up and – and like, like right there, he's making a rocky nice move easy. around. Yeah, not forcing mm -hmm. anything and just letting the, the shot come, come to him. Towel timeout sponsored by Service Master Restore. Um, the IRT would give, wants to give a special thanks to Gearbox for being one of our inside industry partners. Check out all the latest and innovative equipment from Gearbox. Gearbox supports not only the sport of racquetball, but many athletes as well. Check them out online today www.gearboxsports.com. Speaking of Gearbox, <laughs> yes, you need to say hi to them while you're here. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know if uh, Rafa's online or Joel, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I want to say hi to them and see you in Vegas, guys. Oh, so Albert, Albert, you had a pretty long summer. I mean, you really didn't rest. You <laughs> after the tour, you had the Pan American uh, Games in Lima, Peru, and you're back on the tour. You really haven't taken some time off to rest and. We got the U.S. Open coming up, but you said right now you're going to go to Vegas Three Wall Ball next week, and then Vegas. How, how's your body feeling? How are you feeling? Uh, surprisingly, it fe it's feeling good right now. Uh, I think if you take a break, it might not start <laughs> up again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think uh, I'm on a, a racquetball mode right now, and and I, I'm enjoying it. I, I mean, sometimes I, I've been, I, I've, I've gone through uh, bad times uh, with my body. Right now, it feels good. So. I'm gotta ride gonna, it. Yeah, yeah. It's like gonna, a wave. Uh, exactly. So uh, I'm feeling good. I, I'm just gonna play uh, as much as I can. Towel timeout. Sponsored by Service Master Restored. You want to be a partner with the IRT? Please email me, Dean at IRT-Tour.com. Plenty of packages and options available. Help those that help us, please. Um, so you got the winner of this game, uh, Alvaro. Yes. Uh, you know, obviously, you and Rocky battled hundreds of times. Um, Rocky's only up, only played Thomas four times. Mm -hmm. So when you don't play a guy a lot, is that is, does that make a difference? Do you go into thinking that, or just because you guys are the the high pros, mm -hmm. do you go into the match like, hey, I, I'm supposed to win this match, uh, or do you plan for it? Uh, no, I, I mean. We approach every match the same way. You, you got to give the effort. Um, anybody can win. <laughs> anybody can beat anybody uh, uh, in this level. So you got to be ready. You got to be a, a, a pro. And, and I think uh, it does help when you play somebody a lot of times. Yeah. But when you're, you're have, you have the winning record. Yeah. <laughs> you know? you're like 37 yeah, and yeah, 2. Exa That's exactly. Good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not, not when you're, you're in, the, in the lower side, right? But – uh, it helps because um, you know a few of, uh, of the tendencies. Uh, uh, you, uh, you, l you learn uh, what are their, his uh, pr pros and cons, so you, you, t you try to take, take advantage of that. Two in a row skips in by Thomas. Yeah. Thomas is feeling mm -hmm. the, the pressure, pressure yeah. and he's trying to you know, kill the ball, go to, go to bottom board, you know, not even let it come off the back wall, you know, or just flat rollouts. And you know, he's down 4-0 now. Yet to score a point here in the tiebreaker. Yeah, and those are um, forced errors. I think he has a chance to uh, at least make it to the front wall, and he's not, uh, he's not doing that. So. That's a very good point. I mean, Rocky's definitely allowing him to shoot, right. but that's what he has to do. Right. He's got to execute. execute. That was the theme uh, we, uh, we kind of noticed in Atlanta, is everyone who won the matches going into the finals was execution, execution, execution. The one who executed the best obviously ended up winning. And in the finals, Andre did not execute right. at all. Yeah. And Thomas is not executing here. He's getting the opportunities. Right. He needs to take advantage yeah. of this. Well, we'll see later today. If you guys recall, back in Atlanta, all the quarterfinal matches went to tiebreakers. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we had a, a long Friday night. I mean, the four points of Rocky has been skipped from uh, Thomas. Thomas. That, that, t that tells you the how the game is going. So. He's well, you anticipate this is going to be a lot uh, yeah. closer. So, you, so well, you're I saying that Thomas is going to... I was anticipating uh, uh, Thomas was going to be a little more relaxed. <laughs> he's he not. Is, he's not relaxed at all. And Rocky knows that, and he's just, like, putting the... the Great cross-court uh, pass yeah. there by Rocky Carson. 
Rock is using all his experience and just putting all the pressure on, on Thomas. Yeah, I mean, Rocky's taking his time, too. He's yeah. not in a rush. Yeah, uh, the first game went extremely quick, and he did not like that. Yeah. Uh. Um, what, this is our second year back here in Maryland. What do, what do you think about this facility? Obviously, we know Tracy uh, and her daughter Imani do a great job. Um, she was able to get the local news out last night, right. and, and you, you were on the local news channel. Uh, speaking, of, can you just let some of the fans back at home know not only what Tracy does for for us, but uh, what the what the news yeah. people were like? Yes, um, I, I love it. Uh, this this feels like an uh, old school uh, racquetball club, like where I back where in the I, day. Yeah, back in the days where I, that's how I started playing a club like this. So uh, I, I love it. Uh, uh, most everyone that's here right now uh, looks like it's been playing for for many years, and they. They uh, appreciate the the um, the racquetball we we're watching right now. So yeah, they got a group here. I think they call them the Rack Pack, pack uh -huh. uh, and they support the tour here. And so it's a group of like racquetball junk mm -hmm. that help support yeah. uh, Tracy and her tournaments here. Yes, you can tell. You can tell. Everyone knows their racquetball. And, and it's nice to it. see that some people taking their lunch break yeah, today, right. coming to watch racquetball. <laughs> we appreciate them coming out. Nice little shot there by Thomas Carter. No pressure on that one. That's what he needs to do. He needs to relax a little bit more. So Thomas Carter serving, zero serving, five on the head yeah, pen he scoreboard. Score one point or at least right now. He has a chance right here. Yeah. Here it is. Front wall, side wall rollout. Rocky not happy with that return of serve. One serving five on the head pen scoreboard. That's a good shot right there by Thomas Carr, though. It hit the crack on the right side, but, you know, it's the point. Got to take it as it is. Now Thomas again back to the service. Short serve. I think it's it's been a, a bad strategy from Rocky the last two points. He tried to be uh, more aggressive than trying to move Thomas around. And, and look, again, he... It's, uh, what he did in the second game and the beginning of the third, he was trying to move uh, Thomas out of the, the middle and forcing Thomas to to hit a tough shot. Now that he he was winning comfortable, Rocky tried to be, uh, tried to be more aggressive and uh, and didn't work. Now what a bullet right there! Yeah. Nice kill shot rollout by Thomas Carter. He's yeah. starting to feel yeah, a little the, confidence, the confidence, and now you exactly. see him, you know, obviously charging forward here. Yeah. Thomas gets a setup from the back. Carson, the setup. Thomas can't put a racket on it. Carson back to serve. So we're going to give you an update on the matches going on the other courts. So Andre Parrilla has taken, is, is right now in the third game. He's down Andres four eight. Andres Acuna is leading the match eight to four. And Lalo Portillo is up on Samari, 12 to 8. Skip shot right there by Thomas Carter. S gets another point for Rocky Carson. Six serving three on the head pen scoreboard here. Want to again give a shout out to everybody watching. Next up on this court, Kane Waslinchuk versus Carlos Keller from Bolivia. That should be a really good match. Rocky Carson to the box. See, uh, Fabio, that's what he was doing good early in game two is he was shooting, you know, serving a lot well. What a good pickup, but here comes nice a get. plum. Carson. Carter can't get a racket on that one. Towel timeout. He might have to wipe the whole floor right there. Sponsored by Service Master Restore. So, Alvaro, tell us, what, do you, what did you think when you made ESPN's top 10 without going through the glass? Well, <laughs> what, what, you, were, you were really on prime time there in ESPN, so what were your thoughts when you saw that? I don't know, man. I don't know. It wasn't... Uh, was it a compliment? I wasn't, was it? No, I wasn't <laughs> expecting to be on, on the top 10, uh, breaking the glass. <laughs> but, but um, I mean... I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, rarely do we see, you know, uh, them covering uh, l international sports like that, like uh, Pan American Games, but they did, and it was it was yeah. because of the play that you guys had on the court. But you know, it, it I guess uh, mixed feelings. I mixed mean, feelings. I'm, ha I'm happy the racquetball it's on uh, on TV, but 
it's always not, a good not, thing. Yeah, but not that way. <laughs> oh, it was. That was really good. So we got a timeout on the court. We're going to stay right here. We got Alvaro Beltran sitting courtside. But I want to just give a, a real quick shout out to wherrollout.com. Once again, if you buy anything this weekend, 10% offer code uh, IRT Maryland. Use that at checkout. Get the 10% off. The first one to make a purchase and email me, dean at irt-tour.com, will get a autograph Rocky Carson hat. Uh, thank you, Rocky, and thank you, Jonathan Clay, and Rollout for your support of the tour. What a what great having uh, Rocky, uh, having Alvaro Beltran stop by here uh, in the booth. Anytime we have a professional player, especially at this level of professional play that we have here on the tour, is always great for us. You know, it's refreshing because they answer questions, they talk to fans. And, you know, I haven't seen any of these players, you know, not confide with the fans. They take pictures, they, they chat, they hang out. No, Alvaro is, is, is just, uh, he's got a plethora of knowledge on the court, off the court, you know, working with Gearbox. Um, he has one sponsor. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, he, he's the face of Gearbox. Uh, he's an idol in Mexico. You can attest to that. I mean, yeah. when we went to Bolivia, I mean, they were flocking over Rocky because, I mean, he's... You know, they know him. Yeah. Uh, but equally, yeah, equally right for Alvaro Beltran. Yeah, Rocky was the was the imported player <laughs> to Latin America, so he was a big hit. But you know, people lined up to take <laughs> pictures with these gentlemen. And we're back here, ladies and gentlemen. In game number three, Rocky Carson serving seven to three. Wow, a serve there from Carson. See, Rocky what a keeps great himself serve. Uh, focused on the front wall. Point eight serving three on the headpin scoreboard right here. Tiebreaker action. Game is 2-11, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, Kane Waslinchuk, Carlos Keller right here on the championship court. Laurel, Maryland. Carson. Kane Carter set up. Carson, ceiling shot there. Carter. Wow. Oh, buries that one straight down Broadway, ladies and gentlemen. Head referee, Mr. Miller. You've got to remember, like you said, this game is to 11 points, and Thomas Carter is trailing Carson 3-8. to eight. So he has his work cut out for him. Carson, if he is going to do something, he has to do it right now. He has to put his foot on the gas and get things going on. Maybe get that mentality that he had, that smooth groove that he had in game number one. He has to take it right now and, and point. Uh, Carson, waiting for the serve from Carter. Cross court right there. Oh, wow. Thomas couldn't get a racket on it. The IRT would like to thank Reaching Your Dreams Foundation. Both of these players, you know, are supported by Reaching Your Dreams Foundation. Rocky Carson, he's the spokesman. R give to RYDF.org. They help support athletes here, not only in the sport of racquetball, but in life as well. Remember, www.give to RYDF.org. Rocky goes up top. Thomas is going to shoot this from 39 and a half feet. Rocky's right there. Nice little touch into the corner. Both players had multiple opportunities. The crowd likes it. And Rocky Carson, two points away. So Alro thought it was going to be a lot closer, but unfortunately, a lot of errors by Thomas Carter. Rocky Carson, short serve there, going for Thomas's backhand. Rocky Carson, high Z. Carter, getting a setup from Carson. Carson, from the back. What a pickup. Thomas doesn't think he got it. Oh, he went right at him. Back ball there, too strong. Carson, gonna shoot for it. Wow. Cross court, impressive. Wow, Alvaro Beltran back in the service box. What's that update on the uh, Acuna match? Upset, Acuna upset. Won. Acuna won 11-7. Wow, Andre Good match. Korea going home. So back to the action here on championship court. Rocky Carson, match point opportunity. What a pick up there by Carson. Carter right to him. Set up off the back wall. Here's Thomas Carter, and Carson is there. 
two bounce, get right there. Rocky Carson will move on to take on the Alvaro Beltran here directly in game one. So what a match right there. So first game, Carter, 15, uh, six, uh, no, 15, five. Carson, 15, six, Rock easily winning that tiebreak, 11-3. A lot of errors there by Thomas Carter. I think he's upset with himself. I, happy he went to a breaker, upset of his performance in the breaker, I would think. You? Well, yes, of course. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that he's going to have a talk with Coach Winterton after this so he can make some adjustments. But, you know, i got to congratulate Thomas Carter. Listen, not everybody can take Rocky Carson to a tiebreaker. He did, so congratulations to Thomas Carter, and we expect to see him in the next tournament at the U.S. Open. Absolutely. So here we go. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back courtside with the winner, Rocky Carson, in our round of 16s right here on IRT Live. Winner Rocky Carson, congratulations, moving on to the quarterfinals. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a tough one. Um, feels good to win that. It was a long day yesterday, got in, but in all honesty, uh, I mean, for me to be able to get through that match, I was very fortunate. Uh, Thomas, I know his ranking's not in the top five or so, but he was playing top five ball a lot of that match. Yeah, uh, let's go back to game one. I mean, he came out of the gate hard. I, I looked at him at one point and said, you going to miss a shot? <laughs> You gonna miss anything? Uh, I, his response was, "That's not the plan." So um, he kept it rolling for that whole first game, and you know, credit to him. Uh, you know, he took advantage of opportunities, but he created a ton of opportunities. And then when he didn't have the opportunities, he he rolled ball still. It was just amazing, you know. Yeah, he had that three wall shot that was like, "Okay, yeah. <laughs> try that again." <laughs> yeah, and you know, in, in some ways, you feel like he's playing desperate, but he was comfortable with where he was and. You know, when you're feeling that good at times, uh, you feel like you're invincible, and, and sometimes it's almost like you are. Um, you know, and credit, you know, he's he's playing good ball. Um, you know, my goal is to make him feel like he's got to do that for, you know, an hour to an hour and a half of consistent ball and keep on putting the pressure on him. So, Well, now let's shift over into game two. Uh, what I've noticed is that your serve uh, not only was different, but it was you were executing your serve very well, and you were you getting him very defensive early on. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it, in all honesty, I, you know, I wasn't super sharp in the first, but um, second game I started hitting some serves, starting to feel real comfortable with that, and that's, uh, you know, that's uh, how, I, how I was able to kind of control the rallies. And once I was starting to control the rallies, he started feeling a little uncomfortable. So um, uh, now we'll, we'll shift over to game three. Uh, too many mistakes on his part. I mean, you, you had some really great ceiling balls. Right, yeah, no, I was, uh, and I was fortunate. I had some good ceiling balls, some of that kind of ran the side wall a little bit that made it hard for him to set up. And uh, those are hard to kill, so I was able to kind of step back and wait for the passes or for him to rip it. And um, I got most of the breaks as well as um, made most of my shots. Okay, so now quarterfinals tonight. I think you're up at 5 p.m. Uh, versus Alvaro Beltran. What's the game plan against Alvaro? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't. I have to ask. I, I've never watched <laughs> him play at all. <laughs> never? Okay. Um, so any any uh, sponsors you want to give a, a special yeah. thanks to? I know that we uh, we've been really uh, talking a lot online about RYDF. Can you tell some of the fans at home what RYDF uh, not only does for the sport of racquetball but for some of these young athletes? Yeah, well I appreciate everybody who has supported the, the RYDF, and it's a or a foundation that I've been a part of for a while to help them uh, grow and get the awareness out there. But the Reaching Your Dream Foundation. It helps get a lot of these young pros out there, helps fund them to uh, be able to play the tour and, and live their dreams. And, uh, you know, it's hard to, hard to get on the tour and, and, uh, and succeed and, and, make, uh, and make the money that you need to. So, um, you know, once they do that, that's good. So thank you very much. Um, next up is uh, wherrollout.com. We have a special this week. Of, you know, thank you for donating that, uh, that hat and the, uh, the autograph on that. So uh, if any of you guys are at home, you want to uh, buy some of our IRT clothing on Where Rollout, you're going to get a special autograph hat from Rocky Carson. So we want to thank you for, you know, yeah. supporting those who support us. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, wherrollout.com, you know, I had um, coach. Yeah, my, fr my coach, Fran Davis, on the phone with her all match long. You know, it's, it's amazing. Uh, Racket World has been a great support to me, a great support to Racketball, and uh, Michael Aguas and everything. So thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's Courtside with Rocky Carson. We'll be coming up right next. Kane Wasselnchuk and Andre Sakuna right here on the IRT Live. My name is Bobby Horns, or David Horns, some might know me as. Oh, my goodness. Get the Reaching Dream Foundation has helped, helped me out a lot in the last, I mean, for as long as I can remember, really. Oh, too good. This sport has taken me to a place that I never thought I would be before.
her DVD, her iPhone, and iPad app, or work with her in person to build your own racquetball dream house. Check her out online at friendavisracquetball.com. Fran Davis. Fran Davis. Fran Davis. Fran Davis. The number one racquetball instructor in the game. The greatest racquetball instructor and clinician our sport has ever known. One of the best coaches I have ever worked with. She knows what's best for my game. Love working with her, mainly because she worked on my serve, on my drill selection, in every part of the game. So I think she's the best in the world. If you want to take your game to the next level, work with the best. Fran Davis.